One thing that a lot of artists go through is feeling unmotivated or uninspired to draw and so in this video I thought I would give you guys some tips on how to regain that motivation and love for art. Just before we start I want to say a massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So one of the biggest tips that I can give you guys for getting over being unmotivated is actually to try something new and experiment with different art styles or mediums or even learn a new skill altogether and so one of the best places to to do that is Skillshare because they have so many classes. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of really great classes in so many different areas including art, photography, video editing, even business skills which as you guys know I say business skills are so important for artists to learn. With the premium membership you get unlimited access to all of these classes. The annual subscription is less than $10 a month so you're getting such great value with that price. But what's even better is Skillshare is giving the first 500 of you that sign up two months completely free for Skillshare. So you can go and watch all of those classes and see for yourself how great it really is. So the link for that will be at the top of the description so you can go and get two months free. Now let's move on to today's art topic which is motivation and I really believe that the first thing that you can do to help overcome being unmotivated is figure out why are you unmotivated in the first place. I believe that there's three big reasons why you might be feeling unmotivated. The first one being you might be feeling unconfident, you don't feel good enough with your art and if you are feeling unconfident you're not really going to feel motivated to do something that you don't feel confident about. The second one is you don't have any real urge to create, there's no real inspiration there, you don't feel excited and it's just not really feeling like a big priority in your life right now. You just don't really have that urge to pick up the paintbrush or the pencil and go and create something. And the third big reason why you might be unmotivated is because you're simply not happy with your art, you're not happy with what you're creating, you might not like what you're creating and you just feel in a slump and that you have no real like identity or style or maybe you just don't know what mediums you want to use and you just might be unmotivated because you have no real direction of what you want your art to go in. These are what I consider to be the three main reasons why you might be feeling unmotivated but obviously every artist is different and you might be feeling unmotivated for something that isn't any of these three but it's really important for you to sit down and think about the cause and the reason and the root of your issue why are you feeling unmotivated but now let's go through some common ways to actually solve those issues that I just spoke about. The first one I said was no confidence and tip one is don't compare yourself to other artists. I think this is one of the main reasons people feel unconfident or down on themselves or that they're not good enough is because they go on social media and they compare themselves to other artists that they look up to. And whilst it's good to look at other artists, you should draw positive inspiration from that and aim to be where they are, not put yourself down and think, oh, I'm not as good as them, I will never be as good as them, that is just negative, that's not going to help you get anywhere. Don't compare yourself to other artists in a negative way. Look at those artists that you look up to and think, wow, I am going to be like them one day and think about how you're going to get there. What do you want to do? What is it that you need to improve on? And then just go and practice and practice and use that as motivation and keep looking at that artist and their artwork that you want to strive towards and use it for positive encouragement. Don't use it as negative ways to put yourself down. That's never going to help give you the motivation to go and create. Tip two is remember that everybody goes through this. Every artist is going to go through periods where they don't feel particularly confident, they don't really feel like they're good enough. Even artists that you look up to will have days where they're frustrated with their art and they just don't feel good enough. And I think it's kind of comforting knowing that every artist goes through it and you're not alone. But the important thing is to not let it hold you back. Just go and create art anyway. And tip three is really think logically about how good it will feel when you start to see your improvement. When you go and practice and practice and then you look back on your art and you see how much you've improved, that is going to make you feel so happy and motivated. If you just stay in this feeling of being unconfident, unmotivated, feeling like you're not good enough, 
then you're never gonna get past that. If you don't create art, then you're never gonna get better. But if you force yourself to pick something to practice that day, and you see that you've made improvement by the end of the day, or it just doesn't look as bad as it did before, then that is gonna help motivate you to carry on. And I do think one of the hardest things is actually starting that piece. But once you get going, it's definitely a lot easier. And once you start to see some positive improvement, it will help spur you on to see even more improvement. Also, one thing that you need to accept is when you're creating, there are going to be mistakes, but mistakes aren't a bad thing. How do we learn? If we make a mistake, then we know, oh, that didn't work, and we won't do that again. If you don't make the mistakes, you're never gonna find things that don't work and then actually improve on them next time. The best artists made tons of mistakes. The second reason for being unmotivated was having no urgency to create, no real inspiration. And my first tip to overcoming this would be set yourself goals that actually really excite you. Think back to when you was motivated. What was it that kept you excited to create? And really think about that and set yourself goals that you know are really gonna excite you and get you in the mood to create. You'll need to actually think about what type of person you are. Do you perform best to small goals or big goals? Small little goals, for example, oh, I want to get one page in my sketchbook completed today. I want to practice hand studies today. Is it small goals that motivate you? So for example, if it is the fact that you want to do one page in your sketchbook today, are you gonna feel good if you reach that and then reward yourself? Is that what is gonna make you motivated? Or is it more the long-term big goals? For me, I prefer big goals. I don't really like having the small goals. I prefer having a big goal that I need a lot of time to to actually achieve. So for me, for example, say with my YouTube channel, for example, if I wanted to say, oh, I wanna reach this many subscribers by the end of the year, for example, and I would always make it a sort of target goal that is really, really unlikely to achieve, but not impossible. So I always set goals that are possible, but very, very difficult. And because I'm quite stubborn as a person, I will want to achieve it and I won't want to fail. So I will actually just work really hard to achieve that because I don't want to fail. I definitely think that if you set yourself goals, then you will feel more motivated because you actually have something to work towards rather than just like creating aimlessly, you'll have something in your mind that you are striving to achieve. Tip two would be to set dedicated time to create. Schedule in some time to actually draw and paint. And if you actually dedicate the time and allot your time in the day for this particular task, then you are much more likely to do it because you've set aside a time that you are meant to be creating. And I know a lot of you, if you've got responsibilities like a family and a full-time job, it can be very hard to find the time to actually create. And it doesn't have to be a particularly long amount of time per day. It can be like half an hour, just draw for half an hour a day. I think it'd be really good to tie this in with tip one. So schedule yourself some time for that day to create and also give yourself a goal of what you wanna achieve by the end of that session. Because then you've achieved something and you've set yourself that responsibility that you've got to create art in that day. Tip three would be find inspiration. For me, I really like watching art vlogs. So particularly by Jazza, I love watching Jazza's art vlogs. I find that I get more motivated when I look at people working hard, not particularly seeing people draw well or this sort of stuff. I find it more motivating to see people working really hard to grow their art business. And that motivates me because if I see someone working really hard and I'm just lounging about watching them, it gets me really pumped and excited to go and work harder because I see what they've achieved and I just think, well, I need to work harder to get where they are because they deserved it and they worked hard for it and I can get that too if I work hard and I find it so inspiring to see people like Jazza that works really hard has so many things to balance and if he can do it and all of these other people can do it why can't I do it with less responsibilities that is what I enjoy watching but you might enjoy going through Instagram following your favorite artists and looking at what they've created that might inspire you or you might get inspired by listening to a certain type of music when you're creating your art or going for a walk and looking at nature that might inspire you you need to learn for yourself because I can't tell you what's going to inspire you but you need to learn what kind of things in the past have made you really excited to want to go and create 
The third reason for feeling unmotivated was being quite lost with your art. And some ways to overcome this is firstly, tip one would be if you're bored, if you find that you're bored drawing the same thing over and over again, using the same medium over and over again, it's maybe a time for you to make a change. Experiment more, try something new, try a new medium, try a new subject matter. Go and experiment because maybe it just needs to be something new that will get you motivated. Maybe you're just in a rut, in a slump and you're bored of doing the same thing over and over again. So I definitely recommend trying something new. Tip two would be go back to your strengths. If you find that you're doing the opposite, you're trying too many different things, too many different styles, too many different mediums, then you might start to feel a bit lost. And for me, I was feeling unmotivated recently because I felt like I was just trying to do so many different things and I felt that my artwork was actually suffering in quality because now I'm trying to do so many different things that I'm not actually spending a lot of time focusing on one medium and one style and perfecting it. And so, actually what gave me a lot of motivation back was going back to my strengths. So going back to the medium and subject matter that I am the most confident with, which is color pencil portraits. And so I went and I did some eye studies in colored pencil and that really brought my motivation back because it made me feel confident again. Seeing something that you've done really well really brings back your confidence and automatically brings back your motivation. Well, it does for me anyway. And finally, tip three is try some challenges and have no expectations of what the results are going to be. It's so fun trying new things, like trying a new random medium. And it doesn't even have to be an art medium, going and finding random stuff and then trying to create something with it. Having no expectations sometimes is a really great way at getting you motivated because you can just have fun with it. When we were young, when we were kids, often you'd just create lots of stuff with random stuff and it just was fun. As you get older, you tend to worry more about what people think and you're more cautious about trying new things. But sometimes it's just really fun to go and challenge yourself. There's a lot of challenges on YouTube that artists do, you know, stuff like the time challenges or like marker challenges. And there are so many different things that you could try or you could participate in like monthly challenges like Inktober and stuff like that. Just try something new and try not to have so many high expectations all of the time. Not everything you're gonna create is going to be a masterpiece. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. Please comment down below, did you find those tips useful? And have you guys got any other tips for everyone here to help us all become more motivated to create art? Once again, I wanna say a massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here for more tips and tutorial videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.